Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go to insert and insert a scatter chart. Then I'll right click on the chart and go to select data. Then I will add in a new series and this will be my measurement series. And the X values are going to be all of the dates and times. And then the Y values are going to be all of the measurements. And enter and OK and OK again. And now I have my chart. In order to format this quickly, I'm going to use a chart template. So I'll right click and go to change chart type and then templates and then select this chart template that I made earlier and OK. Now I'm going to add in my straight lines and here I have all of the values where I want straight lines to appear on the X axis. In order to plot these, I also need to have Y values. So I'm going to look at the Y axis and pick a number on the axis. And that is going to be 400. And then I'm going to use the same number for all of my values because I want to end up with a straight line of data points. Then I'll select the chart and right click and go to select data and then add in a new series. And the name will be calibration. And then the X values in my example are all of the dates and times when calibrations took place. Then for the Y values, I'm going to select all of the 400s that I just put in. And then OK and OK again. And now I have a straight line of orange data points. I'm now going to select the orange dots and then add in error bars. Then I will double click on the chart to open up the formatting pane. And I'll use the drop down list to select the X error bars. And I don't actually want these, so I'm going to delete them. Then I'll use the drop down list again to select the Y error bars. And we will change these so that the end style is no cap. And then we need an error amount. And so we can either put in a percentage and make it really big, like 50%, or we can put in a fixed value. And in my example, I'm going to put in a hundred. But you need to pick a number that makes the error bars go all the way across the chart. Then we can change the way these lines look. So I will change the color to be orange. And now we get a warning message saying that we are using complex formatting, but that's fine and we can just say yes for this. Then I will make the lines a bit wider. And the final step is to get rid of the orange dots. So I'll use the drop down list again to select the calibration series and then go to marker and marker options and change it to none. And we'll close this. And now we have a chart with multiple different straight lines. Okay, and that is everything.